I absolutely love doing this video each year. I took a look at the top three tours and then focused on the first and second place winners, those top finishers on the lures and presentations that they use to get these finishes and broke it down into the top 10. And we had some changes from last year and there was one that just outranked the others by far and away it wasn't even close and of course i'm going to have links to many of these down below in the description so if you want to check them out yourself you can and i had some interesting observations or things that i noted by going through all of these different tournaments and i'll go ahead and talk about those at the end of the video as well but let's go ahead and get started. Number 10 was this spinnerbait, and it came in at $270,000. Number nine was owned by the square bill crankbait at $305,000. Number eight is our first finesse type presentation, and that was the wacky rig at $338,000. Number seven jumps back into your power fishing techniques, and that is the deep diving crankbait, and it amassed $395,000. 5,000 in winnings. Number six was a flipping jig. I thought it'd be higher than that on the list this year, but that comes in at $425,000. Number five was a Texas rigged worm at $491,000. Number four was the Carolina rig, and many anglers were using soft plastic worms on that particular presentation as well, and it amassed $504,000. Number three is not a surprise to anybody this last year, and that is the swim bait at $538,500. Number two, shock me. I didn't think it was going to be on this list at all. You don't really hear about it being used um, as much as we use it as recreational anglers. But when I was doing the research and going through each event, it was very, very popular in traditional smallmouth waters. So number two was the Ned Rig, and it came in at $562,500. And number one just obliterated everything else, and that was the Drop Shot Rig, and it comes in at $1.5 million dollars plus that it helped earn anglers in the top three tours this year and the lures that were used on there one of them was the baby z2 that i talk about all the time and then of course traditional drop shot worms some of the observations that i wanted to talk about if i would have bunched together texas rigged worms texas rigged creature baits and craws that would have taken that category of a presentation the texas rig and moved it all the way up to number two at six hundred and eight thousand dollars the next thing that i'd like to note is that many anglers for these top finishes not a surprise said that some sort of live scope or live imaging was absolutely critical in their finishes for this last season the next observation is if you notice there were no bladed jigs in the top 10. bladed jigs were used by the top two finishers throughout these three different tours but not that often were they used by people in the top 10. So bladed jig completely fell off the list. And then when I was doing some more digging around with the drop shot, traditionally we think about, you know, those as northern waters, smallmouth type waters, right? And of course it's used all the time when the tours make the northern swing, but it is starting to be used a lot more the farther south we go. So those mid lakes those lakes that sit in the mid section of the country the drop shot is used all the time and there's even anglers starting to use it a little bit more in the deep south okay what we would normally consider those power fishing types of lakes so the drop shot is just gaining more and more territory as far as the types of waters that it's fished it, it's not used in your stereotypical northern waters only like it was in years past and hey, if you want to watch a video that talks about fishing points, are we fishing points the correct way and how we break them down and are we missing some key spots, go ahead and check this video out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.